Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Kelly Boy. Bitch. All right, y'all. I know it's been a minute. What's in your garage is back. Uh, been listening to some of y'all's complaints and ups and downs. I'm gonna try to do this back the old way where I show everything in detail. But I got a nice one for y'all. I got Big Frank. He blessed me with, uh, you know, coming out and filming his ride. Let's check him out. You ready? Let's go. Big Frank. Come on now, big dog. What's up, man? You got some explaining to do. <laughs> What's up, What's homie? Up? How you doing? Let's shoot this bad boy, man. If you can raise it up and open up everything for sure. me, man, and uh, I got it from there. All right. That's how you make it up. Yes, some people said if it ain't a Chevy, don't raise it up. But it's a Ford. You feel me? It's a Ford thing. All right, let's see. Come on now, y'all know he ain't playing. Squares everywhere. Super clean rack. Show y'all the details again. Look at that, my man's spare tire is a Dayton. You see that? Dayton. The blue plates on this thing. Look, let's check out what Fords do. Super clean. Get that side view. Are the details in that bad boy. Even the plaque is sexy. Sun roofed up. Do y'all got all the badges? Don't know about them though. Motors OG, but it's stupid clean. Everything's intact. knees up. Oh yeah. Close. LTD thing, you know what I mean? You gotta love these cars from back in the day, man. Look at this. That was the options back in the day. Super clean. Y'all see it? Where else you gonna find a Ford LTD this clean? Color bar. Seventies in half switch panels, y'all. That's how you put your switches. Ask somebody. She fresh, y'all. Oh. Sun roofed up. See that reflection? She clean. Not a Chevy, but she definitely clean. Just goes to show you, perfect example. You could hook up other stuff, y'all. And stand out. Be in your own lane. 
Look at my man's chrome. Look how chrome this is. Beautiful. Hook up my other Ford LTD leverage, you know what I mean? Let me just show a little something. She can lay, lay and play cruiser, but she clean. Y'all know I don't close people's doors. Show y'all the right side, you know, because there's always that one person that's like, oh man, the right side could have a dent. Let me see that. There you go. Can y'all taste the knockoff? You got close on getting. Dang it, man. You feel me? How straight this bad boy is, watch. Yo. Let me ask him a couple questions. Have him walk through, and we'll see what else he's doing in his garage, you know what I mean? from the 818 painted my roof, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, had all the trim re -chrome. Yeah, because I can definitely tell all the chrome is definitely yeah, yeah. And that all done at Sergio's mm -hmm. and, uh, commercial plating in Los Angeles. <laughs> I got it wrong last time. You got this up at me. I hey. said commerce last time. He got all we Yeah, I know. He goes, hey, I know we moved. <laughs> Uh, when you so, got this, did it have all, all the pieces? I mean, how, what was the condition of it when yeah, you got it? Yeah, when I got it, it was completely original. I mm -hmm. got it off the original owner in Norwalk, mm -hmm. um, Miss Latham. Uh, it was a uh, 25th um, wedding anniversary gift from her husband. Mm -hmm. And then um, she was the only lady that was driving it, and then her kids just done it. It was time to sell it. It was too big for her. But uh, so I, I came across it. So I'm the second owner on this car. Yeah. You know, so... Very clean, man. Very clean, man. Let's, let's check out this trunk, man. Let's let's show them <laughs> what you known for. You know what I mean? All right. This, this is it. Boy right here. Little two pump setup. Mm -hmm. You know, with some ADEXs. Uh, pressure light. OG motors. Uh, six batteries. Trojan. Grace, which you know is the best one. Mm -hmm. 700. Now see. You know, and, and, and again, because I've thrown it in detail, you got an on and off switch in here instead of the actual plug. What, what made yeah, you do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, um, A buddy of mine did it, you mm -hmm. know, he, um, on his 57. And um, and then I just, you know, I, I saw it too, and I go, oh, you know, so I went to a, a place where they sell um, electrical stuff for semis, and I picked one up, and it works good, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, it's so just, the semis you know, actually kind of use that then, huh? Yeah, 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 they do. So, okay. you know, they're pretty heavy duty and everything, so I haven't had no problems with it, so. Yeah, it's very clean, man. Yeah. Instead, of, instead of that wire hanging all out. Yeah. yeah. Or or that when you look. plug it in, you're sitting there like, what do I do with <laughs> you it? What I took it, you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, shoot, man, let's, uh, let's see what you got going on in the garage, man. Let's show them what you do. All right. Yeah, man, yeah. let's get to it. Yeah, man, let me just show your garage real quick. Yeah. Oh, you know, we got to first start off with this sign. <laughs> Y'all know where we are. Look at that. Even the sign is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, y'all. The inventory up in here. Y'all know about them. No, they're not for sale. Don't ask. Nice and clean up in here, man. Thanks. Yeah, pretty much everything on there got someone's name on it, so. <laughs> I'm already knowing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was going to test you. Is it for sale? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all see this. 
beautiful. Hold on, I need to make sure I get in there good. I'm building a four pump Tesco right now. And everything is everything's being painted in uh, chrome. So everything's out right now. Just missed it, huh? Yeah. It's all good. I'm, I'm sure there's enough here. I know where this rack is going. I ain't going to tell y'all. But I do want to point this out. It's pretty trick. Something a little different. You know? Uh-huh. Man, all kinds of stuff that people would love to have just laying around, man. All the little details, mm -hmm. LTD. Just picked up a little chrome, so I'll be busy this week putting these together. Look at all this. All this is going to be a, a four pump setup for a 58, a friend of mine's. Man, so, there you go, man. We got the old flyers and stuff. I kind of do my own little rough drawings, you know? Uh -huh. So this is my little artwork I do. So when I, I try to sell the system to the customer, you could tell customers over and over and over and they don't get it. You know? Right. So I start sketching out. When I was a kid, I used to like art. So hey, and it worked out for you. I did a little drafting myself. But, yeah. But I didn't pursue it. You know, I ran <laughs> doing hydraulics, but you know, my little ex ex action sketch, or what you want to call it. Yeah. Rough diagram and But it helps them out. Like, oh yeah, when they see it, you know. Y'all know what that's about. Yeah. Good old Gordo man. Rest in peace, brother. Wow, he did my sounds on my LTD for me. Before he went, so and they're still bumping good. They do. Look, we got stuff up at the top. Got some more of it. Check this out. No, nah, they're not just regular screws. Oh, we got even more over here. Yeah. Ooh. So four pump set up for my buddy Oscar. It's going on 64 hard top. I'll see it. The details, y'all. The details. Ah, oh, I know where to go to get me a Southside Sway Bar. Yeah. <laughs> I got them. They're right there, man. <laughs> Ready to go. Yes, sir. Oh, wait. We got another bad boy. Ooh, look at the details in this. Yeah, that one's going in the 62 rag, so... Like that color like, too. Yeah, the color at all, yeah. And the way the guy's building his car right now, it's not one of those that it, he did all chrome suspension. He did, he molded everything, polished huh. it, had it all powder coated. So it looks like, it looks like this. His, his arms look like this. I'm get this and then he, then he highlighted with all the ball joints, washers and, and nut and bolts chrome. Mm. More chrome over here. Uh oh. What is this? Yeah, the in Long Beach. Y'all see that? Yeah. I remember that set of my fifty, but I, that set up was clean. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, the Hermes. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. And I see this bad boy right here. Yeah. You're doing the setup in this, huh? Just the setup, yeah. Show y'all a little bit of it. It's a six yeah, fold. He's got a painter, he's got a poster, he's got a mechanic. Now he's got me doing the hydraulics. So. And let's check out some. On. This will take off Monday morning. Be done. Want to take a peek? Yeah, man. Let me see what we got going on in this trunk. Because I already know it's something awesome. Oh, my goodness. I love the details and. The pinstripe in the middle of the words, mm -hmm. man, that's awesome to me. Man, look at my man's work. He is not playing. Eight battery, right? Yep, eight battery, yeah, two eight. pump. Mm -hmm. Just to get that on the back plate alone is worth something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta give props to yourself sometimes, man. That's awesome, let me get that top view.
All right, big dog. Today's a big day for you. All right. <laughs> Nothing too hard. We're just going to ask a couple questions. All right. Um, first off, uh, if you want to tell them your name, uh, the city that we're in. Uh, my name is Big Frank, and I'm in the city of Anaheim. Um, and this is my garage. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the magic happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell me, tell me this. Uh, for the Ford, does the Ford have a name? Is, like, is there a particular name for it? Do you have a name for it? It's OG LTD. I like that. Can't go wrong with that. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fix now, l l let's get into, you know, I guess everybody's question. What made you go with a Ford? You know, when I was growing up, these are the cars in the 70s. You know, I was born in 59, so I was 10, 12 years old mm -hmm. when these cars were out. And, uh, and I see, you know, they're doing the Lincoln Continentals, mm -hmm. Thunderbirds. Um, glass houses. You didn't see too many of these. Right, right. These were yeah. These are the cars for low riders. Yeah, yeah. You know, then and you buy it brand new with air conditioning and all that. So you're cruising, man. In style, you get hot to throw the AC on. Yep. You know. <laughs> so me growing up, that's what I I grew up looking at. Right. Right there. As you see it. You know. And uh, and when I did get my chance to get a car, I bought my first thing was a Mark IV. Mm. You know. 74 and um and i got that off of an original owner too and ever since then it was it was always lincoln's nice and, but i always saw this ltd though you know yeah i love them man especially yeah, the extra I, window I, with the I, lcd stamp like i love yeah, it yeah yeah i mean i i see them you know and i always could picture it you know I, i'm a visual guy i could just look at a stock car and i could already see it with same here yeah, i could see it with rims i could see it's land on the ground yeah um and i go that car will be nice and then I was growing up, then, you know, you, you the see it. Positive you know, come out. This is I mean, the new generation. This is what yeah, they all chase yeah, after. Yeah, I'm not going to look for something else. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get all, you, pretty much you can find anything for these cars now. Yeah. You know? But going back to that LTD, I have to go to a good old junkyard and be lucky if there's one there that's not really wrecked bad or, right. or something I could take off it, you know. That's that's one of the things a lot of people they don't give props for like you know well, I mean they will for you for this yeah. but they you know people need to understand that these, these the parts for these cars is hard to find right I'm sure there's no Ford book you can just go and order parts from right no, <laughs> you know what no. I mean yeah you know they do make a little bit you know rubbers and stuff like that but they mm -hmm. don't even make the complete set you know they, and I ask them why and they they don't do it. Mm. Don't know why, but you know it's not you know it's not really a big demand. I get it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a big demand. Too. Yeah, you know I mean? so like the lots of money for them. Um, uh, I guess tell us about the beginning uh, of, of the Ford. Was it uh, I mean, obviously it was bone stock. This, is this the original color or what? Yeah, it's real close. But this this color here is a Corona cream. Okay, yeah. But if you know, I could open the the trunk and you can see the hinges on the the real close to that color. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. I think I saw that. It's real yeah. close. So real close. And Did then, you have to, uh, I guess, find any pieces, uh, any major pieces, like the like the rubber, uh, not the rubber, but like the, the um, trim and everything? Yeah, I do. On eBay, you know, mm. you could log, I could log in uh, the year and then and the make of this car in there. And there's some things in there people do happen to have. Right, right. That's cool, know? man. In your case, yeah. you're lucky because you're pretty much done. Anything else you plan on doing with it? Uh, well, yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can tell, but... Yeah, I did. I just got some... <laughs> Restored true spokes for it, four kids. Ooh, that's all the way up your alley, yeah, boy. I know you can't so wait. That's just that's. I think it's gonna set it just right. Okay. You know, you know, you couldn't find them before. You know, mm. and I came across a set, and that's rare. Right. So I I got them, and that's the that's the air that this car should have. It's supposed it should, to have on there. Exactly. It should have true spokes to, you know, the Dayton's. You know, the Dayton's are good on it too, but. Mm. Man, ain't nothing like a true spoke on this car, man. I'm sorry, it's good. It's so good tell me, you know, in, in, in your era of, you know, hitting the boulevard and uh -huh. so forth, what was the wheels? What, you know, what, what, explain the scene, what to look like. What what wheels was everybody having? What cars used to pass by you? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Well, the names of cars, I don't know, but I knew, um, like, for wheels, um, well, they had Craigers. Mm -hmm. They had Appliance. They had Rockets. They had one they called Fittins. That almost looked like a rocket, but they were more flat, kind of like a Krager. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, and the Supreme. Right, right, right. The Supreme was like one of the first to give it that spoke look. Right. You know. 
And then it took off from there, or what? Yeah, then, yeah, like I said, all those other names, man. <laughs> and, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, True Spoke, you know, they came out. I know Dayton's been around for years, mm -hmm. but they're always doing the... The hot rod. The, the foreign cars. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, 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 Jaguars and stuff. Jaguars, MGs. Yeah. Right, MGs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, I think around in the 85, late 80s, the Dayton. You started noticing Danes on the low riders, and that just like <laughs> changed the so, game, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Look, I can tell by the smile on your face. Yeah, because yeah, you don't see no no uh, no lugs. You know, it's a big thing. You know? Yeah, I bet. Everybody always what's holds the wheel on that, <laughs> that knockoff. Right? That Everybody's scratching their head. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it but, changed uh, the game. What year yeah. is, the, uh, is the Ford? Did we get into that? It's a 1977 Ford LTD okay. Landau. So it's one of the wow. top of the line ones. It has all the little the goodies, you know. It's mm -hmm. got a pop trunk. It's got the cruise control. Um, you know, it's got air conditioning. The mm -hmm. roof, you know, like I said, I had that put in. Mm -hmm. Good thing I had that put in like, yeah, man. I said over 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember you coming know, to paint and, even on the roof was a long time ago. And, yeah, the roof is it's going on nine. That's crazy. Nine years. That's a good My buddy job. Rick did it. And then it, you know, I had to put away in the garage, and my kid finally said, Dad, let's, let's start taking this thing apart, you know, and get it going, get it painted. Mm. And I, we did it. it. It took a little while. It took us five years. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, but it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Four years in, in body shop, but... <sighs> Paint prison. You know, yeah. Some friend. <laughs> it was a friend. You know, you know how they are. He's a friend. He could wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I remember, uh, shoot, I remember seeing it not too long ago. The motor was completely out, so you had to rebuild the motor, right? Yeah, yeah. Got it ready for last year's uh, New Year's, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I jinxed myself because I, I kept talking to my car and saying, "Just <laughs> go, man. I just want you out for New Year's," and you know, and, and Tim even videotaped me, man. You Tim driving down the street, and this thing was running like a cat man just purring good and, mm. you know the whole day went good and then we went to go cruise and and she shut down and that was it she turned out pumpkin <laughs> <laughs> she shut down man so i really got her dream but be home by midnight man because as soon as it hit midnight it, she shut down and you know three two to three months playing with it finally figured out i had a um, blown out seven and eight cylinders were blown out oh man yeah so how she came Took it to L and R mm. during the epidemic and all that, which was not cool. It took ten months, so it was almost a whole year sitting. Mm. The way you see it, with no motor. Almost took it to Vegas with no motor. That's I was, I was so tempted. <laughs> I was just gonna push it, you know. Some guys yeah. do push their cars. I mean, I back just, in the day, you know, the right of years, yeah, you didn't know, even run. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> my kids talked to me saying, "Nah, let's not do that." But. Man, I, you know, I wanted it that whole year, and, and it just gave me that that one day. And I had to wait a whole year again, and then here she is. But she's doing good, man. She's running really good. Doing good and looking good, yeah. man. I even had um, my exhaust done, split it, because mm. it had that single exhaust. Mm. So I put a little bit of Flow Masters on there. She's really nice. She's purring real good. Love it, man. So let's, uh, yeah. let's get into some serious questions. Man, okay. what, what, what made you get it? How did you get your start in this? What what made you go down this lane? What, what bug? What, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I was. <laughs> well, believe it or not, you know, I could say I guess everybody could say they always. I I actually built a lowrider bike. Really? Yeah, believe it or not, I built a lowrider bike, and um, and I know my sister took pictures of me, and we cannot find the pictures because they're Polaroids. You know, usually Polaroids have the year stamped on the right, corner. Right, on the back side. Yeah, so, but I know I was around eight, nine years old. I'm 63 years old, so do your math. Um, yeah, I was nine, ten. Just had a little stingray, you know, just, you know, girl, girl bikes all have white walls. Mm -hmm. So that's where I got my white walls from. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my mom was uh, always sewing dresses for my sisters, so I asked her if she had some materials I could glue onto this seat <laughs> and that's where it went you know and, yeah. and uh you know back then I I couldn't afford paint so I just I primered it yeah brown you know and just with white walls and a black it was a velvet 
you know, but it was, you know, it kind of looked like more hair. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I put it around, people were like, what the heck is this thing, you know? Because <laughs> the BMX came out back then, you know, BMX yeah. was just starting off. You know, when I was in junior high, all the, all the other guys were building BMX, you know, mm -hmm. that metal shop, making fenders for it. Yeah. Doing little trick shit for the BMX bikes, and I go, well, if they could do BMX, you know, I wonder if I could make a low rider bike. And, you know, I put little fenders on and shit. And yeah. That's kind of like... Where it started right there, you know. That's dope. What what made you, I guess, transition into going into, into the hydraulics? And when I saw a car. What? Yeah, I got a family that lives around the corner here, and uh, and some guy down the street came down here to say hi to my drill cousin, and uh, he had a white '68 Impala. And when I rolled my bike by it, I looked at it, and it was he was here already, and I pulled up on it, and it was laying on the ground. Yeah. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to. Heck was this guy? <laughs> How's he driving this car? You know, yeah. so I just kind of like just patted my bike around and around till he finally left. You know, and then I caught him and put him down in his car, and all of a sudden he just went up, beep beep, and I'm like, yeah. So I went and told my cousin, who yeah. was this guy? <laughs> you know, it's a low rider. Like, yeah, that's bad, man. I got those the hydraulic car went up. That was it, man. I was always fascinated with hydraulics. Man, I, I can I can almost feel that feeling with you as you're saying it. What what? How old were you? What, what year was this? Do you remember? All right. So if I was like, um, I was like, okay, I was probably like around 12, mm -hmm. 70s. Mm. Yeah. I know. Right. That, I know that had to have been a sight. Yeah, '69 was uh, 1969 was a sixth grade. So yeah. So there it is, man. Uh, let's see. What was your inspiration behind the LTD, or, or behind building it? Well, you know, I always had the, the Lincolns. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the Mark IV, I had a Mark V, and I had two baby Lincolns. And I did have a, <laughs> you gotta laugh, I did own a Chevy. <laughs> Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, cut, yeah, I'm gonna cut yeah, this out. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> People get a trip, yeah, I had a Chevy, I had a 69 Caprice. So you must have used it for right. parts then, right? No. No, no, no. No, no, that car was actually, it was... Actually, it was a nice car, you know. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Nice and then uh, I had it for two years, and, you know, I enjoyed it and everything. And then mm. off she went. And then um, I was in the process of looking for another car. Mm. And my uh, my buddy's, uh, my buddy Ralph saw this car in Norwalk, and he had his uh, had his lady chase her down, you know. And she by the time she got in there, got her furs and got her keys, she couldn't find her. And he was telling me, hey, this LTD is bad, you know, just nice and clean. It's an old lady driving it. Mm. I tried to have Jennifer uh, chase it down. She lost her, you know, but she'll come through here again. She did it once, she'll come through again. And that was probably like two months later, she did it again. So you did find it. And, she, and this time you didn't have to tell Jennifer nothing. Yeah. She just rang, got the keys and followed her. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, this story sounds bad for somebody not yeah, knowing. Yeah, it sounds scary. <laughs> so yeah, you just followed you know. her, huh? It was a girl, though. It wasn't yeah. a guy. It was a girl. <laughs> and uh, no, the lady, the lady was late. And she, she was a doll, man. She was, oh no, dear. You know, I'm not interested in selling it right now. But since you asked me, you know, give me your number, and I'll be, you'd be the first. Really? Yeah. She just told her, her husband was interested in it, and uh, he told me about it. And uh, I wanted to see it. So then finally, like two, three months later, he goes, she wants to sell it. You want to go look at it? And I go, yeah, let's go do this, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. That was pure, she yeah. already had a new car, too. Yeah, so and, it was, it was and, ready to go, go. And the new car yeah. was outside in the driveway, and, and I go, where's the LTD? She goes, oh, no, my baby's in the garage. Yeah, she loved that car, man. Wow. Yeah, it's her. Still she, got it, you man. know, she popped the garage door, and it comes up, and. That thing's laying in there, man. Just mm. like, uh, like, wow. Mm. Yep. That's awesome, man. So, uh. that's that's where it went. That's where I got it. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Explain the feeling when, when you're when you're rolling in the LTD, man, with the top back. You're just cruising out of Boulevard, man. You want to tell us how that feels for you? I, I, I love it. It's a good feeling, man. <laughs> nothing like that. And I... It, it just, I don't know, I don't know, it just makes me relax, I just feel good. I know people are looking at me, and I, get, I have that, I get that sense, 
You know, and I want to just look over, you know, just like... Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, we all been there. I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, trying to be, like, famous. You know, like, hey, you know, It's the you know? Yeah, so, you know. And then, you know, I, I do happen to look over, and all I see is thumbs up. You know, thumbs just up, or nowadays thumbs cameras. and smiles. And mm -hmm. um, I just happened to take it to the liquor store down the street, and, and some lady just... Oh my God, what year is this? And I go, 77, she's so beautiful. And I go, oh, thanks. I go, you know, she just restored it. And I go, pretty much, you know. Mm. And she go, oh no, it's beautiful. And then yeah. the owner liquor store comes out and, what year? And I go, it's a 77. She goes, the guy goes, well, damn man, that's the year my dad was born. Yeah, yeah I, I was about to say, I was actually born in 77. I was just telling my girl the other day, like, you know, yeah, there wasn't so. many cars in the 70s for me to go, oh, let me go get a 77. But yeah. I didn't even know that. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I graduated in 77. What? Yeah, I graduated in 77. <laughs> graduated, I was just being born, man. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and these cars were just coming out, man. So mm. when I did see the ones with wheels, and, and you yeah, know, there's a few clubs out there that, yeah. you know, but. Yeah, it's cool. not me, man. It's a yeah. bad car. Like, you know, I've been, I've been telling you something ever since the get goes, man, that, that car is bad. Like, I got to film it, man. And here we are, man. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, 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 bad, man. they're coming out. They're out there. Yeah, yeah. They're out there, you know. People's got some under the, mm -hmm. being built right now, and you know, I can't wait to see them. I want, I, I like to see them all, you know. Oh, oh, for sure. <clears throat> you know, I know there's a few up north, and I got one guy that I try to talk to everybody, you know, that has one. You know, hit them up for parts, and then usually after you you chat for them, man, you, know, you end up being buddies, you know. Yeah, of course. So you know, they ask me if I got this, or, but I got a guy in Santa Rosa that has has one too. And, he bought it from uh, Florida, and it, all original. I mean, it was like in mint. Like it only had like thirty-five thousand original miles. On it. What? Yeah, super clean. Yeah, because the miles on these was always low. It, was, it just seemed like nobody yeah. was driving them back yeah, in the day. Like when I bought this one, it only had sixty-five thousand miles on it. See, she, that's all crazy. she did was drive it to the market and back. Nowadays, cars go by. Yeah, it's got two fifty, yeah, two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and that's what I couldn't figure out. You know, low mileage, and then my motor took the shit. Mm. But you know, yeah, it was it's it, one of those things, it's man. Just one of those things. Now, it's, she's 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 back. Her, yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter now. She's back. She's alive again. Uh, wow. I got a question here that uh, your son wanted me to ask you. Okay. <laughs> Why hydros over airbags? <laughs> hey. Um, you know. Well, it is the first thing. I, okay, if they would have said airbags are out for low riders mm -hmm. first, I probably would have been an airbag guy. But growing up mm -hmm. and seeing how they do it, you know, even even the mess they make, I, yeah. just, I didn't care. What, as long as this car went up and went right. down, that's what was the main thing. But it's fluid, don't it? Yeah. There's always hydraulics, you know. Airbags are cool, you know. But I look at those just for the euros. SUVs, yeah. you know. Um, you know cars. If you don't have a low rider, it's got to have pumps, man. I feel you. I feel you know, you it's just good. It's got to have the pump <laughs> switches to call it a low rider. Don't get mad at me, guys, but that's just my oh, people, that's they, just they get, my they get all you know, but hurt, bro. Me, like <laughs> that's me in the heart. Yeah, you know. But I, but I, I like the fact I, that you said yeah. that even still, like you know, if if bags or air or something was out then, that's, you know, but it yeah, wasn't, and yeah, everybody yeah. gets upset about yeah. the bag thing. But I'm like. It wasn't out to yeah. have a decision of do I want to go air back, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but and then, dude, back in the days, not too many guys were lifted, yeah, you know, because they're they back then they would call it butchering it because of the way the cylinders were so fat, you know, mm. from the aircraft pumps and everything. They go, Oh, you're gonna butcher your car, you know, and I can see them saying but, that too, yeah, you know, I, I seen them, man, you know, trunks are they don't even show trunks like they do here, really? Back in the days, no, they just so chopped up, huh? Yeah, just a big mess, you know. Mm. Well, Pumps didn't look all that, you know, just made it, just make it work, you know, right. that's what, and keep the trunk closed, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, pumps, oil, that's me, and I just perfected it and just got into making them look crazy like right, that. Right, right, you, you know? just stayed in, man, I mean, but it shows, I mean, it's a good thing you yeah, did, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you got, got, you know, you got guys do paint, and they stick with it, and look what they do. Right. You know, and same with the interior. You know, yeah, but some of these paint guys, they, they're awesome and they do good work with, man. It, yeah, they're hard to they deal with. They need somebody to help them do business. Yeah, do, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they need somebody yeah. to help them do business bad. Yeah. Um, I, okay, uh, how long have, do you think you've been low riding? How, how long have you been in the game? I've been low riding ever since I've driving. Young, you know. It might have been a truck. Yeah. 
But it had true spokes. Hey. And yeah. it was slammed. You know? Um, that was in 78, too. In fact, mm. you know, I bought a Silverado. I was trying to get a Caprice. Mm. You know? 78 Caprice. Nice. Black on black. Mm -hmm. And mom and dad said no. Because they knew what I was going to do to it. And they didn't want to, they didn't want me to do that. That's crazy. Because my first yeah. car I wanted was a Cadillac. And my mom was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I wanted that Caprice. And uh, that, that car was bad. Brand new on the floor. Show on the floor. And then... They're like, no, we can't do that. And then they pointed outside to a truck. We'll do that. <laughs> so I ended up picking up a 78 Silverado truck. Nice. You know, and I put true spokes and not the lower rider style, just the, the truck style. Mm -hmm. But then had it lowered and everything. Even my first truck was a uh, C10. You know, yeah. it might have had mag wheels on it, but I slammed it. Yeah, hey, as long as it was slammed, slammed, right? That's all I cared about. Because <laughs> you like me, I can tell everyone to say, you know, I, I like it just below. Yeah. It's, it's got to touch the ground for yeah. me, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Any, yeah, pretty much anything I had, it had to just be low and look good or a low rider with hydraulics, you know. Here's a cool question here that uh, your son would me ask you. What's your favorite part about low riding? The, the the people coming up to me, talking to me. So just just the love and everybody. Yeah, just the love. Yeah, yeah. oh man, a lot of people out there, man. It's just, you get a lot of good compliments. Um, you know, you don't know me, but I should sure know you. <laughs> you know, I'm an Instagram fan of yours, and uh, you do awesome work. You know, and all this. You know, just yeah, just the people coming up to me. You know, just talking to me and telling how they appreciate my work and all that. You know. When they get their chips together, that they'll be calling me, you know. And that's that's what I like. And the compliments they give me on my car, you know. Yeah. Thanks for being different. That's, hey, that's, the, hey, one. Hey. that's the one. That's the one. I think that's, that's slogan. That, I think I'm going to get a shirt that says that. Yeah. Just thanks for being different. Because, <laughs> you know, I ain't got nothing wrong with the Apollo. That's, you know, and people yeah. do. People do. Drive a Ford. I mean, yeah, but <clears throat> I know. I work on these. Yeah. You know, I work on these. But, um. Uh, it's me, I, I, like me personally, I, I just like to stand out. I, you know, if you see the car, you know it's me. Like, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, there's another guy up north that's got the same thing. You know, I, I want to stand out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's why I like to have different stuff. I mean, I love the Impalas too, but now it's like everybody and their grandmother's got one. So it's like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, you go to a Laura show and... Everybody's got one. You know, yeah, they're <laughs> all different. Down. That's a good thing. I mean, they're yeah. all, but, you know, they're all different colors. You know, mm. They all got their touch. Everybody's got their own touch. Oh, oh, but yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody's got their own little thing, you know. But, um, yeah, thanks for being different. That's, mm -hmm. that's the thing I like hearing from everybody. Uh, any, uh, do you have like a most memorable moment uh, in this car that you would like to share? Oh, wow, yeah, that was, I almost lost this one here. Believe it or not, this is, you know, this, this is the truth, man. People are going to trip out when I tell you. My daughter wanted me to take her to her prom, but it was just, um, girls go, guys go, and you go in there and you do your own thing, right. you know, from the school. So they're all in gowns. I ah, think, yeah. So I took her and her two friends in my car, got them in there. They're all laid out with big dresses and got them all tucked in there. And here I go to Santa Ana at the uh, Science Center mm -hmm. off of Maine. And uh, everything was going good, man. We were going, got there and everything, opened the doors for them and, and got the girls out. There's always someone in the crowd that's got to say, hit them switches, you know? <laughs> do it, see, see what it do. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so I, I raised it up. And then, um, you know, I started hopping it. And it was a hop, and I had to kind of make a turn, you know? Mm. And I, I, when I did that, my parts turned out blue. And it, and, it, and it was the weak spot where the manifold was next to it. Yeah. So after all those years, it, it, um, it was just weak. Yeah. And I guess with me turning the wheel now, it put some pressure. That hose blew. My car was on fire. Oh. Yeah. The guy's pulling in the driveway. I'm going out. I'm coming out. He's coming in. He's like, Dude, your car's on fire. I go, I, I know I'm going to pull out on the, on the main street. Yeah. I didn't want to burn in front of all these cars. You know? You know? <laughs> Maybe burn more cars, but I was just being safe. I pulled it out, opened the hood. Car's still running. I, I'm i looking. And you can see it burning. But I didn't know what it was, bur what was burning. Yeah. And then I can hear the fire department's coming, so I know, dude, call, call fire department. Yeah. I hear him, and it's burning. And I'm like, I mean, this was going so fast. 
I can just shut the hood, got my car, and I jumped on the freeway. That on ramp was right there, right there, right there. Yeah. Jumped on the five freeway, going towards uh, back home, towards Catella from Santa Ana, and uh, you can see the the light of the fire hitting the uh, on the reflection of the concrete mm -hmm. center divider. Oh yeah. Oh. You can see the spokes flickering because of the light. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, I'm still running, man. People are like pointing. I go, I know, I know, I know. And then she's smoking, she's smoking. I got from Main Main Street on the five to Catella on the five, and it went out. It went out. So I I pretty much made it home. Made it, yeah, and you I made got it home. home. And as soon as I got off the freeway, she stalled. You know, and what it was is all the plastic hose um, caught fire. Yeah, and it uh, Burnt it was off. sucking air. It was mm. sucking air, so it wasn't letting it idle. But and that's when I when I was driving on the freeway. I could hear the power steering was dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go, oh, All loud. Mm. But I saved her, man. I say, if, I think if I would just let it, let it just sit there and wait Burn? for the fire department. Oh, yeah, yeah that fire would have gotten to the dash, and mm. there was no saving it. This car would have been gone. Mm. And that, uh, and this is right. This is right here. Dale, see that this happened to you, right? This 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 happened like um, I'm going to say like over ten years ago. Man. Yeah, and uh, this is before I. We did everything on. Didn't even have that top or nothing on it yet. Yeah, you know. And I, I hardly ever drove it, but my girl wanted me to take her in it. You know, mm -hmm. instead of a limo. And I go, all right. You know, made her happy. Made her friends happy. You know. Now did they did they see any of that or was they it they all caught wind of it uh -huh. when I was getting home. They're all calling, seeing if I was okay. Wow. Hey, I heard the car was on fire, and I go, yeah, it was, but I got it out. They got it out, dude. Everybody remembers her, her high, uh, that wrong. Was, oh, yeah, yeah, that was like <laughs> never gonna forget. Man, that I mean, one. She got, I'm glad it all worked out for you, on that. yeah, yeah. God was on my side, man. Looking after me, all right. Uh, some random questions that I normally always ask are you, are you more of a 13 inch uh guy or a 14 inch, or it doesn't matter for you? Nah, I'm not, it doesn't matter, yeah, mm -hmm. whatever fits the car, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to 14, but the only reason I'm doing that because that that's that's the that's the the, the look that car right had. for that for that type of car yeah. yeah for that year when they came out and people were using it it was true spokes 14s mm -hmm. and it looks really it looks good but like I said I couldn't find them back then and this is what I you had to do what you had to do and then I went with the 13 mm -hmm. you know everybody's running 13s now yeah and back then you know, it used to be everybody's just 14. 14. Yeah. Very seldom. Change, now everybody laughs. Yeah. Now it's a 14. like you very seldom see the 13. <laughs> it's always 14. Um, are you more of a radial tire or, or, or 520? I ran the 520s, mm -hmm. sport ways, you know, but they just, um, you know, you know what the stories on those. Yeah. 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 They blister or they, the, the threads will rip off it or, you know, they always had a problem. But we understand that those tires weren't made for LTDs and stuff. Big like cars. That. Big cars. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Man. A lot of weight. And cats hopping weight. on them and stuff now. Like, they wasn't built no, for I that. Know. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, the last the last 20 years has been radios. Radios. Yeah. So. Good look, man. But I'm going to go with the Croker, Crokers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with the Croker 520s for the new, for the new 14s. Style. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Some very important things that, that we, that we uh, have not touched base on. If you want to give them your Instagram name, or way they can give you a follow if they have any questions or anything. My Instagram is Big Frank's Custom Hydraulic at Yahoo.com. All right, I'll, you know, I'll add it up down at the bottom too. Okay. Um, are you currently in a in a club right now, or did you used to roll with a club? Because I've seen the plaque over there. Yeah, now I used that? to. I used to roll with a few. When I had my truck, I was with the California Short Beds mm -hmm. of Orange County. Um, after that, I, I started a club here in Orange County, and some people were going to trip out. I remember that club. I, it's called Third World. Really? Yeah. And it, it went for, like I'd say, like around eight years. Mm. We, were, we were pretty good. We were pretty strong. And then, you know, we, it was just a bunch of young guys, so they all ended up getting married, and you know how that started goes. Everybody started. Yeah, breaking doing, off. Yeah, and taking care of the family. Kids in a way, yeah. Yeah. So, it still happens today. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, and then it just it just faded away, and then I joined the Imperials. Okay, that's the plaque I see over there. Yeah, I joined mm -hmm. the Imperials in uh, '89 to '99. 
I did nice. 10 years. Yeah, I did 10 years for that club. So I call it, I call it that, that 10 years altered image era mm. because that's when altered image was trying to get that title. Mm. So we were going everywhere. Go against it. Yeah, we were trying <laughs> to get it, you know. Yeah, always competing. So anything yeah. uh you know from from you know like like the prime era of you little writing back in the day that you wish was still around today that you don't see yeah i like to see more cars and weddings oh okay you know that's a good one quinceaneras i actually get up for a few of those every now and then so yeah, i'll keep in mind next yeah. time <laughs> hey, you know, when, when we were in third world when we started third world we were kind of known for that you know yeah. we just had yeah. a blast doing it mm. you know you know people would come up and Oh, we heard that you do, uh, you show for quinceaneras, you know, and uh, we did a few, so you know the, the word got out. But I like that. I would like to see that more girls that have quinceaneras that have their the low rider all out and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know it's, nowadays it's so hard, you know, to have you know nine couples in your wedding and, and they, or or a quinceanera. Yeah, you know, and trying to put a car in everybody and you know the way. Cost of living and all this stuff, yeah, but I I I, I, I used now. to like that. People would just uh, they would thank us, you know, after dinner of it. Mm. They would they would have, even at the reception they would have a table just for for us guys that were doing the right and the show yeah, friends. What's up? You know, Friday just season. yeah, you know. So we enjoyed ourselves and had a good time doing that. Yeah, show friend kissing and weddings. You know, I'd see a little more of those. Now I, I know we we've uh, we touched base on a few of your cars. But what was the very first car, I guess, that you uh, you started to customize? Was it a truck? Or, or did yeah, you get well, into it? really, yeah, it'd be a truck. Okay. It'd be my Silverado. Okay. You know, back then, you know, there was short, you know, there was a there was that era where um, low low riding shows died out because they had that little conflict with the the original owner, and they had to shut it down for ten years. It looks like they had like a ten year span. Of, of court. I didn't even know this. Yeah, yeah, the rhyme and she went down because the original owner and the uh, owner Al uh, Lopez, yeah. Lopez, yeah, that, that guy, that had a conflict or something. And it, they shut down for a while, so lowrider shows and all that disappeared. That's why you saw the little mini trucks come out. Really? Yeah, you start seeing guys with the mini trucks, Volkswagens, mm -hmm. shore beds. You guys never know that shore beds were out. Yeah. You know, California short beds, it was uh, just uh, fleet size or step size or, you know, there's all those little, the truck club thing, yeah. you know. Learn something new every day. Yeah. yeah. So with, when this going on then, I mean, you, do you did you see low riding kind of really slowing down? Yeah. Less it's, people... No, it slowed down. Really? Yeah. I saw more of the the trucks and mini trucks. And bugs and, and stuff. Yeah, but the trucks, you know, there was guys lifting trucks and there was guys doing the little mini truck. Mm, the the beds. beds and all that. Yeah, so yeah. the hydraulics were always still there. It was always there. there. Just, just but just, direction. just, yeah, a straight low rider show, you go to, nah, not like it is now. Wow. You know? Yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. I wasn't knowing about that. Um, do you uh, have, have a dream car that you still would like to build in the future? Or, or is this, or is the LTD, you know, you figuring that's where you're going to stop? Is there something yeah. else you got envisioned? Or, or if you can even talk about I it? I had my chance. Nah, I, I had my chance. I had a chance to pick up a 59. Okay. Back in, in 79. Back when yeah, they were probably dirt cheap. I was 20. I was, 20, I was, 12, I was, 20. Mm. I was just 20. And uh, I met this guy. and He was building a fleet line. And he had a 59, dude. And that's the year I was born. So that would be my dream car. That's what's up, Hard man. top, right top. But I really prefer a hard top. You know, it's just me. I just rather have a hard top. And, and most most of the, like, the true OGs is like hard top. And then, you know, it wasn't until recently that the rags was yeah, became really yeah. popping. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Well, growing up, nobody wanted a rag. Yeah, see? It was a rust bucket. <laughs> that's how they call it. <laughs> Who would want that rust bucket? You it's know, crazy all these generation and, changes. Yeah, man. sat there in someone's driveway for 10 years and topped all rotted out. Mm. How many rainstorms went through it? How many times do you think they drained the water out of it? They Never. It just sat there. Some people, what you just said, they don't even know what you're talking about. Drain the water. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it just. There's plugs on your car, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, it'd okay. be a hard time, man. You know, but. Yeah, and you ain't gonna believe how much I. Like, could have got it for it too. Oh, I'm already knowing it was something retarded. Yes, fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> See, 
Mm. And it had everything. You can't just, get another four feet. It was all there. there. It just had to be restored. Mm. You know, cotton sticking out of the seats, and it was there. All the trim was there, everything, and yeah, I just didn't have it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any shout outs or any thank yous that you want to give to anybody? Um, I, can, I can give out all the shout outs to all the, the people that I work with. Um, you know, I, I worked for um, the Mojo. Mm -hmm. I worked for, um, believe it, I worked for Reds, but it wasn't the, re the original three brothers, the new owners. Really? Yeah, Stefan and uh, Tony. Okay. And I worked for them for two years, and right there in uh, Linwood. Wow. Before they, they closed it and moved out. Straight history over yeah. there. Yeah. And then I did, um, wow, I'd have to say at least 18 to 20 years at home. He's in and out. You know, I mm. worked in Huntington Park. I worked in both locations in Paramount. And there's times I left and I came back and I left and I came back, but <laughs> yeah. You know, now I'm here doing my own thing and yeah, man. And it shows, man. Yeah, thank you. Everybody's fighting for a big Frank setup. Yeah, everybody. Go. Where's your I heard shot? you was gonna make me one too. I, I mean, I'm like, no. A yeah. uh, shirt? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I got shirts. They just go so fast. I can't hold on to them long enough. But um, yeah, people, you know, hey, where's your shop? And I go, it's a garage. I don't care. Where's your garage? I mean, yeah. You know, and I go, all right. Okay. So they come down here. So this is where you pump all this magic out. All the magic comes right here, man. Right out of this little garage, yeah. I'm one of the guys, you know, Disney started in the garage. Yeah. Gates, most garage. Of, most of your big stuff, yeah, started yeah, in the garage, big people man. people all started, just, I think it started a little late <laughs> in life, but. I mean, you know, you move up, but you got to pay for yeah. overhead and stuff now, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, it works here, it works yeah. here. But I think if I really would have got into day one, getting out of high school, mm. I, I really have a, a name for myself, you know, but I was a little late, you know, I, I was in the plum, I was a plumber, I did solar heating, plumbing, you know, so I had all that experience with plumbing. Right, you know? and it shows. And then, you know, when I got my truck, I lifted, we lifted the front, me and my buddy Danny, we lifted the front of it, and after that, it was just, it was never turning back. Wow. Always, always fascinated with the pumps. That's dope, man. Yeah. Well, I could sit in the car at the car show and I, I stare at the truck. Yeah. You know, everybody's staring at paint or, yeah. or overall car. Yeah. I'll just post up and look at the trunk. Trunk, yeah. Because <laughs> this is what you do. I mean, everybody's like that. Like yeah. That's, that's their thing. I just thing. sit there and stare at how, Yeah. How, and there's a lot of badass setups out there, man. There is. There is. Yeah. There's a lot. A lot of creativity these days. There is. And, you know, I ain't going to lie. There's some ideas I, 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 I take from people. And there's people that take ideas from me. I'm not a hater. It's a never ending I, game. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of like, like it because then I see it. You know, I look through a magazine, I look and I go, uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know, where do you get that idea? You know, but it's all good, man. It's all good in this game. All right. Almost uh, about to wrap it up here. Just, uh, I know you kind of touched base right now. You know, you say you was kind of doing plumbing and so forth. Was there any, is there anything else that we don't know about you that you're into or? Any other style of cars? Is anything else that you know most people have no idea that, that you like that kind of thing? Mm. Nah, this is this is it. Just low riding. Yeah, you know. I mean, I got it. We got into the quad thing, you know. Mm -hmm. We did quads, you know. Like, I took my sons out there once with my buddy Topo, and, and there again, you know, that low rider bug bit me, and that glamis bug bit me <laughs> and my boys and we did like seven seven years straight really? ended up buying them a quad you know and, and just put the car away man and just good thing i just put it away and not sell it because if i would have sold that i probably wouldn't have nothing right now you know yeah just trying to get another car these days so hard Crazy, you know, people, man. Yeah, people are even these people with these ltds that do have them they're marking them up because mm. they're seeing that there's something there's something mm -hmm. out there you know? That actually one of the questions I was going to ask you. Would you sell this? Yeah. <laughs> I know. That would kind of be hard. You know, like they always say, if the money's right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If, if it was right, yeah. I'd let her, you know, yeah. I'd let all the other ones go. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd let it go. <laughs> I'll try to find a 59. Chase that money. money. Yeah, I'll yeah, try. If not, 
You know, my son's got a seven put away, so yeah. he says you can put your money into that car if you want. Keep That'd it going, nice. man. That would be dope, though, huh? Yeah. yeah, we got, we got our, I'm telling you, we could just think of, <coughs> excuse me, of, I, me and my boys, we could just sit there and talk, and, and we're in the same page. We already, That's dope. Yeah, and I got to see them, I can see his lamp, see a visor, bumper kit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And all the right goodies on it. You yeah. gotta have all the right goodies. <laughs> Down to the blinds, speakers, mm -hmm. you know, all the little accessories. Cool. That's dope, man. Well, shoot, let me see. Give it that gangster look, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's that gangster look. Well, shoot, man. Just wanna shake your hand on camera, man? All right, man. Thank well, you so thank much. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, bud. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thank Thanks for coming Whenever out. Come out, man, and uh. Another one. What's up, y'all? I finally got that merch. Make sure you go online and shop now at adaywithkellyboy.bigcartel.com. I got sizes from medium all the way to 5XL. Make sure you put your size and your color of your sticker in the comments. Go shop now. Watch supplies last.